Memorial Day is right around the corner and thousands of Western Pennsylvanians have served in our military and helped preserve our freedom. And thousands more are pitched in from the home front, especially during World War II, when a tiny car company from Butler, PA, helps win the war and change the world. Selena Pompiani Matheson is learning about one of the most important inventions that came right out of Western PA, the Jeep. Hello from the Heinz History Center, everybody. I'm hanging out with the president and CEO today, Andy Masick. Always good to see you, Andy. It's good to see you, too. I'm so <laughs> glad that you came to the History Center today as Memorial Day approaches. It's a good time to remember those people who sacrificed so much, especially during World War II. Yeah, it's so true, Andy, and so many big parts of World War II happened in our area here, and we always see Jeeps all over the place. I even have a Jeep at my house, but a lot of people may not know the big role that the Jeep played. That's right. The Army sent out an RFP, a request for proposals, to 124 car makers in America, and the only one who came through was this little American Bantam car company in Butler, Pennsylvania, and they designed a vehicle that could go any place a horse could go, pull a gun, and it didn't weigh any more than a big horse. Well, 734,000 of those Jeeps were made for World War II, and it revolutionized the battlefield. And Andy, I understand that Pittsburgh was the arsenal of democracy. That's right. Pennsylvania produced more steel than all the Axis powers put together. And, you know, a lot of guys were in uniform. They had to leave their jobs at factories and mills, and Rosie the Riveter took their place. 50,000 women took the place of the men in the mills, and a Westinghouse artist named J. Howard Miller came up with this famous image, We Can Do It. And Rosie the Riveter, well, a song came out just as the poster came out. All the day long, whether rain or shine, she's part of the assembly line. She's making history, working for victory. Rosie, uh, uh, uh. the Riveter. <laughs> Well, that's right. So now that image is known around the world. Tens of thousands of people from Western Pennsylvania joined the war efforts. You're right, Selena. And they came from all walks of life. From Homewood, Carl Woods joined the Tuskegee Airmen. A hundred Western Pennsylvanians joined this all-black flying squadron that protected B-24 bombers. They flew P-51 Mustangs. Carl Woods lost his life over the Adriatic Sea. And we provided leadership for the war effort too, Andy. You're right about that, Selena. In fact, the architect of victory for World War II was George Marshall from Uniontown, Pennsylvania. After the war, came up with the Marshall Plan, which rebuilt Europe. But he said of Western Pennsylvania and of the Jeep, that's the most important contribution that America made to the war effort. You can see the oldest Jeep on planet Earth on loan from the Smithsonian Institution here at the History Center. And you can learn more about the people of Western Pennsylvania and World War II in the World War II We Can Do It exhibit right I here at the it. History Center. I'm ready to go for a ride, Andy. You're driving. I'm driving. Here we go. Watch out, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> you should probably not actually go driving through <laughs> no. the Heinz History Center. Yeah. yeah. But anyhow, maybe not allowed. It's still fun to learn about. <laughs> All right, this is an annual Jeep festival, of course, that's being held in Butler each summer, and it's coming up soon. It's coming up June 10th and 12th, and I know people love that love festival. Love it. Yeah. Yes.